Familiar faces. Alphano has a mind to start searching the blue window. Assuming the Salil is here, I doubt she will come to us. We should begin searching the Isles in earnest. Of course, we must remain vigilant for Vanu scouts as well. I would rather avoid needless bloodshed. And I can already fly. Gods, look at them. So many aisles, so many places to hide. No, we must not lose hope. He is out there, Lavenza, and we will find him. And we run into, isn't this when Varus pops up at some point soon? I think it's Varus. Oh, I have to do a lookout. I thought it was something I had to click on. You search the skies for the Salil, but see nothing resembling the missing airship. Oh, okay, now we're in for a fight. Oh, Morpho. Oh, I have to do a lookout again. God, I'm not good at this game. <laughs> Mayhap this effort was doomed to failure. Begs mercy of netherlings. Uh, does not fight. Does not wish to die. Was that a Vanu being attacked? But by whom? Ah. Uh. Over there. That's right. I remember there is like an island where you see like Imperial crates and stuff. Imperial troops. Ishgardians. Seize them. They'll know where the Archbishop is. Ooh, they're looking for the Archbishop as well? Well, yeah, I mean, we deal with the Imperials in Aziz Law. But I don't remember why they're there. The enemy of my enemy. We've no choice. With me, Lavenza, protect the Vanu. Yeah, you use that book. <laughs> remember, Lord Van Hydras wants them alive. That's an order. Lord Van Hydras? Regular Van Hydras? Okay, this guy is a healer. Damn. Could have gone after him first. Oh, and of course there's Spawn. What are you doing? You're a disgrace to the sixth. Subdue these savages. There's no end to them. There never is. <laughs> they just keep spawning. Oh, this one's got to go. Or, yeah. The... Okay. My lunge was on cooldown. No weapons to fight Netherlings, no desire to die.
so many ads. Die more quickly. Here we go. Oh. Carbuncle's got it. And so we live to fight another day. Netherlings save Lonu Vanu from certain death. Showers Netherlings with thanks like Summer Squall. Lonu Vanu knows not what winds bear Netherlings to cloud sea, but warmly welcomes them. Shows gratitude where gratitude is due. Devourer of Worlds. Lonu Vanu would like very much for you to enjoy the hospitality of his village. Lonu Vanu owes much and more to Netherlings. As saviors, as heroes, Zundu welcome you. To village we go, to north. Come, come. Oh. So, the Garleans were searching for the Archbishop and believed that the Vanu Vanu knew something of his whereabouts. Methods notwithstanding, they may have had the right of it. I conclude that we should accept Lonu Vanu's offer of hospitality and visit his village. I like the music here. It's very kind of whimsical and airy, which makes sense for the area that it's in, but. Oh. I want to believe Lonu Vanu is sincere in his intentions. Nevertheless, keep your eyes open, Lavenza. Like breeze guides leaves to rest, come and lay down your burdens, Netherlings. Lonu Vanu throws wide arms in greeting. Behold, Ox Zundu. A far warmer welcome than the one you received from the, from the Vundu, I think. Ha! Vundu bluster and blow hither and yon, sound and fury like aimless gale. Huh? What unseen lightning begets such thunderous report? There you are. Did you see it? It's that damned flying whale again. The Imperials are after it. Where? The white? He's wounded. Nom. <laughs> By the twelve, did the beasts just eat that island? O oh, insatiable white, O oh, devourer of worlds, why must you torment us? Bah, Lonu Vanu wastes no more words on his unfathomable deeds. Come, Netherlings, come and break words with Chief of Zundu.
When you describe it as a flying feathered whale, I naturally assumed you had taken some liberties. It'll take a lot more than Imperial cannons to bring that beast down. Sorry, I got distracted there for a second. OBS was doing weird things. Nothing doesn't seem to affect it anything, but it caught my attention. With wisdom deep as nethers and eyes clear as cloudless blue, Sonu Vanu speaks for Zundu. Hearken to his words. Oh. I imagine this will not be voiced. Netherlings deliver Lonu Vanu from claws of steel shod fiends and prove nobility. He knows not to ignore Zephyr Yeah, he knows not to ignore Zephyr winds and brings before you with all haste. That sentence doesn't even Yeah, we saved him and proved our nobility. He knows not to ignore Zephyr winds and brings before you with all haste. I guess it's just saying knows not to, like, wait. I don't know. Soft, uh, soft rains to soothe the heart and sunshine to warm. Gratitude of Sonu, chief of Zundu, is boundless. We are honored to meet you, Chief Sonu. I am Alfino Levier, and these are my companions, Lavenza Shark and Sid Garland. We are come in search of an airship a flying vessel of the nethers, which we believe is somewhere in the cloud sea. Ah, like to black steel shod contraption from which you save Lanu Vanu. Alas, no, that ship belongs to the Garlean Empire, an old enemy of ours, though not the enemy we are looking for at present. The men we seek wear armor of purest white and are led by an older man in white robes. Wait, Lonu Vanu hear tell of these netherlings. You do? Are you certain? As sun rises and falls and returns, we are. Zundu scouts can testify to words of Lonu Vanu. Aye, aye. Winds carry purpose of netherlings to our ears as well. Netherlings seek key to Aziz law. Now we're getting somewhere. Tell us, Chief Sonu. What exactly is this Aziz law? Beware, netherlings, for blackest clouds portend greatest danger. Look not into heart of tempest. There lies ancient birthplace of sin, home of forbidden secrets. To speak more is to call the wind. But the white devourer's isle where, where key is kept. Uh, deep within bowels of mighty Bismarck it lies, beyond reach of the foolhardy. And beyond ours... Rejoice not in his gluttony, Lonu Vanu, for as stone gives way to water and wind, all yields to the white. This he knows, Chief Sonu. Madness of Vundu bodes ill for all Vanu.
With every dawn fewer and fewer remain, so great is the white's hunger. No iTunes, go away. As saplings bask in the warmth of the sun, so too many netherlings partake of our hospitality. Chief Sonu is the leader of the Zundu. Strong and wise, Netherling shows proper respect, and he will treat you with the gentleness of an autumn breeze. Do we not just leave the key to the Forbidden Land in the uh, owl-eating whale's belly? I mean, I can think of worse places to keep it. No, I thought not. <laughs> Black and the White. Alphano has that familiar look in his eye, which can mean only one thing. So as his law is home to forbidden secrets, accessible only to the barrier or to the bearer of a key which the archbishop covets. Much as I would like to believe it's safe within the belly of Bismarck, the knights of the heavens ward wield primal powers. If we do not slay the whale and claim the key first, they surely will. Quite how we will go about it is another matter. Uh, as was the case in our battle with Leviathan, we are out of our element, and this time we have far fewer allies to call upon. Be that as it may, our customary approach still holds true. We must begin by learning more about the white. Let us each question the residents of the village, then regroup and share our findings anon. If Netherlings seek knowledge of the white, then speak with Kunu Vali, foremost keeper of tales. But neglect not to present self with humility and respect. As sun yields to moon and moon to sun, Netherlings must greet Kunu Vali with a bow. I mean, he's like right at the edge of that circle. <laughs> Zephyr winds at your back and sunshine to warm your brow, traveler from below. Kunu Vali, keeper of tales, hears your words and she remembers. In times long ago in lands elsewhere, before even the cloud sea, the white is one among many. Newborn, he swims beside his many brothers in seas of endless water. But hated the white is, for his brothers are purest black. So great is their contempt, their loathing, that they turn upon him and rend his flesh asunder. And so he falls, only to rise again, for merciful gods raise raise him to the heavens, and there he is reborn. The white still longs for the sea to which he cannot return, but in rebirth a splinter of the divine is shared, and so he opens his maw, for whence come the clouds, and a new sea is born, home to him alone. Content he gazes below and see th sees others who are as he, hated and hunted. He weeps, and in his benevolence, he raises up isles of earth and guides these people to the cloud sea. Such is the tale of his rebirth and the salvation of the Vanu. May it never be forgot. But this demon which menaces the cloud sea, his rage is that of the Vundu, his hunger that of a wild beast. The isles are his gift to us, yet now he must consume them? Kunu Vali knows no tales like this. All right. Get a little bit of history and, um, you know, just further proof that this is a primal. Personally, I've seen enough of that flying feathered whale already.
So according to the Vanu Vanu, the Sea of Clouds and the Floating Isles were gifts from Bismarck to his people. Gifts which he has taken to eating, yes, technically within his rights, I suppose, if perhaps a little ungenerous. Gods, huh? But what, what of you, Alphano? Did you learn out of value? Alas, no. That is, unless you have an interest in the intricacies of Vanu sky fishing. Sky fishing? My gods, that's it. Alphano, my boy. I could kiss you. Uh, <laughs> what now? From what we have observed, Bismarck is a creature of pure instinct, driven primarily by hunger. When wounded by the Imperials, it fled, but not before de devouring another island to restore its strength. What I propose is this. We tow a suitably appetizing island through the Sea of Clouds, in essence, fishing for our flying whale. Once we draw Bismarck out of hiding, we shall use dragon killers to fire grapplings into the beast's hide and then reel it in close, enabling our resident icon slayer to engage it directly. A bold plan, Master Garland, but an exceedingly dangerous one. Should Lavenza fail to subdue the creature, she would almost certainly be eaten, along with the rest of your quote-unquote appetizing island. No, I'm not going to fail. Oh, she won't fail. <laughs> and if anything does go wrong, I'll be at the helm of the Enterprise, ready to tow her out of trouble. I wouldn't entrust a task like this to anyone else. Nor I. I trust you have no objections to my joining you as well? Not at all. The more the merrier. Right then. It seems the boys and I have a lot of work to do if the Enterprise is to be ready for our fishing trip while you two need to find me some bait. And not just any island, mind. I want a mouthful at most. Thank you all for watching this video. Heaven's Word has been phenomenal. If you've enjoyed it as much as I have, please like, comment, and subscribe on this video. And if you want to see me live, the link to my Twitch is down below. Thank you again for watching, and have a good one.